Okay. Now this is an interesting map because you got this sort of middle ground area where uh, a lot of the action is going to be happening. It looks like Task has more room on his side of the of the middle ground, um, but overall it looks like there's going to be an even amount of land um, for each team. Actually, a pretty pretty well balanced dual map it looks like. We do have Mitla over on Task side. Ooh, a Kilimanjaro kind of chilling in the middle um, that I think is probably not going to be settled for, for some time, but probably Task has a better chance to get it. Let's see, let's compare the spawns. We have a 2-2 base without moving for Kree. Uh, I only see two potential pastures in the cap. Um, still, I doubt that they will be moving. So there's Cardiff and Armog over on this side, and it looks like that will make up the three uh, city-states that we will see. Uh, Task has a 3-1 base with many 2-2s to work. Um, lots of resources, but these two obviously, you know, these won't be found until much later. Let's see, he moved his warrior this way. My guess is he probably started over here and moved on to... Probably either, yeah, cattle. Task is immediately going for animal husbandry. Probably wants to see where his horses are. He'll be happy to see that they're in the second ring, whereas for Cree, um, they're also in the second ring. I don't know, I'd probably give Task the edge on, uh, they're both going animal husbandry first, and you know, it's pretty obvious for Cree to go. I guess Task had turned sync on. Um, but I think overall Task spawn is probably better because he's got the three one working two twos. Actually, I mean they're yeah. He, I mean, Cree just doesn't have any two twos immediately in the cap, so they're probably working these three ones. If I had to guess, they do get they did get their Ochitoa out. Task is going to scout into Settler. Um, Kree is going to go for double scout. Let's see, any other wonders besides Kilimanjaro, or is this just a one wonder? Oh, there's a, <laughs> a useless Bermuda. I think that's probably it for the wonders. Let's see, will he send this up? Yep, so he's sending this up. Still... We have two units moving quite directly towards Task over here. Task's probably pinned the map at this point to see that he's he's pretty close to the north, so you can probably expect no one's up there, which is probably probably why he didn't think he needed to go for a second scout and why he didn't um, do it. Oh, Task is going to see Kilimanjaro quite soon if he doesn't already if he doesn't already tell what it is. Yep, he sees it now. Man, this is going. This is a very fast pace. Kree, though, is, is coming on its way. Task looks like he's going to backsettle on this 4-1 um, with a 2-2. Two, two. Ooh, wow. Now he's even got... <laughs> this spawn just got even better. <laughs> um, in terms of pantheons, I mean... Oh, wrong one. I don't know if he's going to go Earth Goddess, even though that would be normally what a Teddy Bull Moose would do, but maybe just for... I, I don't know. It seems like... I don't know. Lady of the Reeds would be so strong on this city, but we'll see. So they've met, um, and so they can probably see where, where loyalty is uh, pretty soon. Um, he doesn't see that there's a Kree scout coming up here. Looks like they're just going to kill the scout um, task. Yep, shift entering over onto this side of the river. Task going for a second settler. We got a settler out for Cree. Not sure. It looks like they're they're probably eyeing this Fisher. Is if I had to guess, um, where they're gonna settle? Let's let's see if they go here. I think that's pretty interesting. Maybe they're gonna settle on the olives just to get um, a Lux up quickly. I'm kind of curious to see how they how they do that.
So I think that was a mistake going on this tile, because he could have gotten to this tile last turn, and now he got stuck. Okay, task, escorting a settler. Well, maybe he's thinking with this and with this, a fire goddess would actually be really good. I didn't know, uh, I think this must have been a recent explosion. This is going to be a, a great settler right here. So Kree is kind of far behind in terms of settlers, at least. They got um, one settler out. They got a build. They, it looks like they went for settler and then a builder. Um, they're going to get their horses up a lot earlier than Task, though. Task is going for a double monument. Um, that'll give him... I mean, he's already got the lead in, uh, in science. I mean, his spawn doesn't have any breathtaking, so I'm not... He's not getting really any benefit from his bull moose uh, bonus. There's really, like, nothing, no crazy appeal tiles in his whole land, which is kind of a bummer for him. Almost playing a no-bonus sieve at this point. Yep, so we got the horses up. We do have the fisher being settled. Bought out to the 3-2. It's a good, this is a good city. Um, Task just must have the population edge. Yeah, he does have 6 pop to 5 pop to the uh, one he's got. Extra science. I'm surprised this isn't a breathtaking tile. I guess it's next to the floodplains. Let's see, he placed down a holy site. So we can go back to Tex. So Task got... Well, did he get down? I assume he completed Animal Husbandry. Um, so he must know that... But like, I feel... I think Spectator Mod would make this a 2-2 if he had it. Um, he must see that he's... Like, this scout has done a pretty good job you know, getting into Kree's land, and he sees where the, the loyalty is and knows that it, he's he's pretty close. Or pretty far, I should say. Kree keeping this warrior out here. Um, the scouts, though, are, are really just trying to, it looks like, pin Task Scout down. I mean, he's, so far, the, the scout is undamaged. Um, I'm trying to see, is there... If we go to Gossip, I mean, it doesn't look like war has been declared yet. Uh, very intriguing why that's the case so he went for a builder first but all he's been able to do is upgrade this this horse seems like kind of a mistake um, to me rather than get some more tempo with the settler I mean yes this is a, a great tile um, but and, and I guess he's getting strategics up but uh, you know I guess I you know I, I see the the full view and see task uh, just getting a lot more cities out. It's going for an archer and bravo. Uh, Task has yet to rename the city, probably because the timer is so quick. There he goes. Okay, war has definitely been declared now, as we can see. Uh, Kree is the one who declared it, so Task got the um, the boost. That Ochitawa took a lot more damage than uh, Task Scout, in interesting enough. Um, he must have been fortified on the, the rainforest um, to make it a more even um, battle. The scout can see this warrior here. Um, Task can probably look at the military score to see that you know he, he doesn't have anything more than these three units, and so feels pretty comfortable that he knows where uh, you know what what Kree's got going. He chose a pantheon fire goddess. Yep, this is good. this is a massive. Um, this is going to give him some massive tempo. Um, he just needs to get some more pop. Um, if we look at the yields, task is on four faith per turn. He must be working this 2-2. Um, you know, interesting. I think that it'd be worth the four faith, um, to, to work, like, you know, either the wheat or even this 3-4 to, to try to grow faster to then work even more of those volcano tiles. Actually, I, I also don't know. Let's see how much money he has. He doesn't have it. Oh, there, there's the buy. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Um, now I'm sure his yield. Yep, eight. That that makes a lot of sense. Um, we have another. I assume this is a holy site. Oh, what? Oh, is this is this the great bat? Oh, Edmanaki. That makes a ton of sense in this city. He's going to be able to get uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six tiles affected by it if he gets it. Doesn't look like he's going to have any competition in terms of getting it. And um, if we look at Kree's cap, 
it's got 11 production. And if we look at Bravo, it's got eight. If we, his cap's got 10. So Cree is winning a bit on the production end, um, at least for the moment. Another Cree settler coming out. Moving towards task. I mean, this would be a good settle. This could be, this would also be a good settle. We'll see which direction they go. He got a trade route out. Probably going to send it to Mastic Kito. So that builder that he built uh, immediately after his first settler, it looks like it's making its way entirely to um, the second city. Going to improve those furs. He's going um, over this way. Let's see where he sends this trader. Oh, so Task's builder is in a bit of trouble here. Um, he does have an archer, but that archer won't be able to hit for next turn. It'll be at least two turns before he hits it. I'm sure he's going to shift enter back, or at least try to shift enter back this way. Um, Task is the host, so he, he should have first moves. This tile is likely to get pillaged. Um, I think, uh, well, I'm not sure if this arch. I know that if, if this was not in a capital or a city, he wouldn't be able to shoot this, but I wonder. I, I still don't think he will be able to shoot this with the archer that comes out next turn, so it'll be at least another turn before he can kill this, I think. Um, Edamanaki at nine turns. Going monuments here. Task has got, you know, more than double um, Kree's culture. Although that should, I wonder, okay, now it's tied up because he completed those two monuments. Going to have this monument up soon. Um, I think Task is working these, he just must be minus amenities. Um, let's see, loyalty. Oh, yeah, minus three, minus three, minus three. So he's not, he, he's unhappy, which is why he's not getting a full 12 uh, faith from this tile, this tile, and another volcano tile. These scouts are coming over here to try to put some additional pressure, but I think with these archers, Task will be able to handle them quite well. So Task got this, uh, ooh, this, this volcano exploded, making this settle, like, uh, amazing. So he just chopped a, uh, a holy site project. Not sure if he really needs to do a project, given that, um... I mean, it doesn't look like Kree is doing anything. Um, like, I think Kree already got horseback, though. I know that I saw that they were getting horseback soon. Task is going for horseback next turn. It's not like Kree's getting any horses out, so it'd be really hard to take that early horse ad uh, advantage into anything uh, valuable. The the warrior is, is is dead. He did get the pillage off. There's no more builder, so. Task actually, um, or I guess we go to army, um, is going to be stuck on four horses until he gets another builder, but he's prioritizing getting his religion up as soon as possible. Let's see. If we look at total, I mean, 73 faith is, is pretty big. Kree's at 23, which means he, he might have had to leave in the God King card a little bit uh, longer than he'd like. Went for City Patron Goddess. Looks like they did send the trade route up north here um, and send it to their capital where they have the, the horse improved. So um, I don't think it tells me how good the trade route is, but my guess is it's at least a 2-1 a or a 3-1 um, internal. Got another trade route here, sending it to the cap as well. They're going to go for some Pingala internals is, is what it looks like from here. Um, they have... I think they'll probably do something with the government plaza over here, put a campus here, commercial here. That's probably what I would do. Um, but they might have other other plans. We'll see. Oh, it looks like this volcano exploded again. So he has a 3 3 4 1 tile. Damn, a 3 1 4, 3 1 4. I mean, this city is, is going to be pretty mega soon. I mean, he got so lucky. He's gotten really lucky with natural disasters here. I mean, this city has got a. A five, three. Looks like he went for uh, double Liang already, um, which I think makes sense if you're gonna really go for Edamanaki, because um, you're gonna get Edamanaki sooner, um, so you're gonna be able to utilize those yields. 
if we look at the gold though, Task is making only two gold per turn and has significantly less gold than Cree, um, which could really help uh, Task's cause. Cree is going for those horses. Um, Task is going for a builder, I'm sure, to repair those horses and, and eventually get some up. Uh, he's, you know, uh, strategically placing these archers um, over here to try to get line of sight. Um, does anyone... Task does have an envoy in Mil Mitla already, so he has met them and is getting an early science advantage, or getting one science from them. Looks like he just wants to protect this in case there's any Kree scout coming over here, which we know they, they don't. Went for a government plaza uh, here to buff the holy site, which is a good good call. Let's see. Is it really 20 to 30 turns until... Oh, it's already... Wow, so Kree went normal and Task went for... Um, got the Golden Age. Um, I'm sure, you know, he, he probably, that's actually probably a reason why he rushed the religion, um, which I wasn't really thinking about. Um, so he's able to, you know, put that faith, and he's using that faith to buy. Um, the settler, looks like he, he is sending it down here, I'm sure he saw this. I mean, a th it exploded again, <laughs> so there's now a third tile that he can get improved um, with it. Um, 331, and it will be a 3314, a 42. Two and there will be a four two two four. Uh, I mean, task is just super high rolling right here. Um, it looks like they just built one horse and then went into uh, campuses. Um, campus going in here, campus here. Uh, this is a plus three with the rainforest and the fisher. Um, that should give them a pretty big science lead. Um, Still, none of these tiles are, are breathtaking. Actually, I think... Nope, it's only a two, so it won't become breathtaking here. This could become breathtaking if they chopped um, this uh, this rainforest, because with the wonder, it'll add plus one. Oh, no, it's already built. So, never mind. Um, but look at these tiles. He's, he switched these two um, to be wor worked out of this city. Another archer out. <laughs> it exploded again. Oh my god. It hurt the scout, but the settler is safe. A 4 4 4 2 tile. Uh, turn 34. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. I think we have the first tile that Task is getting buffed by his, his bull moose advantage here at 2 1 1. So Cree is going for a holy site. Looks like he he's getting it in uh, the forward city, so that it's you know harder to to convert. Um, I don't think that. Let's see where's religion. Yeah, he's he's not getting any religious pressure so far from from Task. Um, but Task is, I mean, Task getting a golden age here and having such a good pantheon. Um, 31 faith per turn should really boost like I mean I, I I'd be shocked if, if Cree won this um, to be honest with that kind of tempo um, let's see so <laughs> both uh, both players didn't, didn't really scout like uh, to the north or the south of their uh, of their capitals you can see that there's you know goody huts hanging out here um, it'd be kind of cool just to, to check to see what they would give. Uh, but we, we can't do that with this mod even. So this city should be working all of these tiles um, already, because it's at, it's at 4 pop. Um, he's going for an audience chamber, which I think makes sense. Uh, he's already got four cities out, and he can faith by builders, um, so no real needs for, for Ancestral. Um, looks like we got another settler coming out. We got um, campus com uh, complete. Another campus complete with a builder on the way. Um, looks like they pre-placed the commercial hub. They they just switched to the commercial hub after placing down the holy site, which is a little interesting. Um, yeah, and just quickly, I don't want to do that. So Cree is is 
unhappy in one city, Task is unhappy in two cities, which makes sense they're rather high pop and they don't get the extra luxury on that. Builder out here to just get just massive. Look, look at these yields. I, I, I think Task is wondering where this is and like many of the other games he's played where he, he just super high rolls uh, natural disasters. I mean, there's so many good tiles to work here. I don't think he can even... I mean, I guess he can work them all because he's at 5 pop now. He's going for double encampment. Um, so if we look here, America is probably going to start getting that great general. Yep, first great general next turn. Also reveals that he's in classical republic. Um, let's see. How do I see? What? So Kree is also in Classical Republic. Uh, put a, some production into the commercial hub, didn't finish the holy site. Maybe they just feel like they, they didn't need to and they're, they're saving it for, for a rainy day. Um, but I would rather them start getting those um, holy site points as quickly as possible. We got the encampment coming out here. We're gonna actually make this a plus four campus when it comes out. Iron popping up on this city. Stat task still hasn't revealed iron, it looks like. Uh, maybe maybe he did. I think he had to for this to be a 2 2 1. I'm just surprised it's not showing this being a 2 1 1. I think Kree's making a mistake not pre-placing um, either the commercial hub or government plaza in their cap. Um, I mean, they're, if they don't do it uh, soon, they're going to risk uh, increasing the production cost on that even more. Um, so they completed the commercial hub and now they're going into the holy site. I mean, the one real advantage that Kree has is, is the gold. Um, that's really the one thing that they're doing. Um, is this a... Yep, they placed down their first mecha wop. If we look at the eras, I mean, it's, I mean, Kree should definitely hit gold, and Task has got a little bit more work to do, but I think um, they'll be able to. We got this little skirmish, three archers versus two archers, a horse, and a Kree scout. Um, Task is getting this horse up here. He's got tons of time to prepare for, for anything that might come here. And uh, the horse is, I mean, let's see. Oh, so Task uh, killed didn't kill the horse, but had to had to move it back. Got a promo on this archer. Um, Kree is retreating at the moment, um, so that should leave Task pretty open to at least attempt to hit um, to get Kilimanjaro. Um, but crazy enough, I mean these yields look just as good, if not better, than the Kilimanjaro yields are. Um, but this would be a breathtaking tile, which is, some, I mean, this is like the only breathtaking land I really see the task has. Here's where we're popping up. Still no campus for task, but that's okay. He's got Adam and Anki. So he's just dominating culture right now. And as a lot of people say, you know, early cultures a lot more important than early science, and it's not even like, and he's still also ahead in science, so no, uh, no real faults that I see in his game. He pre-placed a commercial hub along with another holy site, so he's going more into those holy sites. I'm curious what he'll place um, in this city. I mean, I think a, a holy site would work well here. You got, you know, oh, he went for a, a theater. Okay, so we have three horses now. Um, interestingly enough, he invested all this time into horses um, without going for, for generals. I mean, um, he did build that one encampment here, um, but he's not projecting. He's building a, a settler, and he doesn't have the card in. Um, so 
I mean, you're not going to be able to, to deny a classical general in a duel, really, but I'm surprised to see that he, he isn't... Like, if you're building these three horses for them to be extra effective, um, and, you know, you can see that your opponent um, is already making great general points, you know, you you kind of need to get that general up to to, to match the, the firepower earlier. Holy Sight's complete, so um, it looks like Kree is building an archer. Government Plaza placed here. I don't mind it too much compared to, to here. Um, actually, this is better because you have five tiles um, that I can hit rather than than four. Probably going to chop this to, uh, let's see. Yeah, already has masonry going. Oh, crossbows soon. I mean, the dual pace is just so so fast. It, it's like, uh, you know, hard to really keep up. And I guess it is already turn 44, which... Okay, so he realized he doesn't have masonry, and I'm sure he wants to chop uh, this tile to, I'm, I'm guessing, place a uh, commercial hub, so he, he's going to do that. Looks like he placed another settler down here on top of the coffee, um, getting another Lux up. So he completed masonry. Task, though, is going to be at stirrups. Look at all these builders. Look at two settlers. I mean... Task should really just outscale him as long as he keeps these these units at bay. Okay, Task sees he's got three horses. My, I would be surprised if we didn't see maybe some more horses being built. Um, oh, wow, though. Like, I know I talked earlier about how the gold advantage was on Kree, and now, I mean, no one's making gold, let's be honest, but now Task is really the one um, doing it. Okay, chopped out a horse. Um... I wonder if this is just going to be a chop chain. We've got temple. We got this city being placed. Pretty good. Two two. Three one base. Another flood. Um, actually, I'm I'm a little surprised he placed the theater square here because this was such a good workable tile. Um, I don't know. You know. I guess he didn't really have the money, maybe, to buy this tile at the time. Um, going for two stables. Okay, Task did get another horse and um, to the front line and was able to save his horse. Kind of tough whether or not to focus on the middle skirmish or, or their individual sims. We got an audience chamber coming out for Cree. It looks like Task is just retreating a little bit, doesn't want to lose any units um, this early. We'll probably see Task settle another city here. Uh, not bad, 2-2 two -two base working a 2-2. Two -two. We got iron up there. He's already got iron up here. So Task has got you know two nodes of iron. Kree only has one. Cree, if we look at the horses, Cree has one horse. Um, Task has at least the one horse, and it looks like that's all they have, too. Uh, okay, so we got uh, Shang Heng, the scientist that they're going to instantly pop. It's, gonna, it's the one that gives you those three boosts or completes it. Um, Hypatia is now up, and it looks like Kree is going to get that easily because Task hasn't even built a single campus. Um, now if we look at the yields, Kree's, you know, started to outpace Task in terms of science, but I don't think Task is too concerned, um, especially when you look at the, the culture difference. I mean, Task is leading so much in culture. Um, and then also if you look at the Faith, 45 Faith, uh, Foxtrot building a commercial hub. Echo uh, pre-placed a theater. I wonder if Task is, is going for a culture victory. I mean, placing all these theaters. Um, another commercial hub realizes he's got to get his economy up. Although Cree is met, uh, negative two, so and they're building more units. Um, I would ex expect that they're not. They don't have the the unit maintenance card in yet. Um, Um, 
Yeah, I expect that they don't have the unit maintenance card in, which they'll, they'll need to start doing soon if they're going to keep building more units. Another city uh, for, for Kree. Um, I, they'll probably... S okay, looks like they settled on the coast here. What did I get? Oh, Mitla. Um, oh, did the era just roll over? No. I'm just wondering why I... Interesting. Uh, Mitla. I think... Okay, so Task is really controlling Mitla. Um, so there's no chance for... Interesting, though, because the, the suzerain bonus is for cities with a campus district. And Task doesn't have any campuses. But hey. I mean, you definitely don't want your opponent to get any benefit from that blue city-state. So keeping control of it has, has benefits in other ways. I mean, it looks like we just have a cold war in the middle here. Neither has a has a true advantage. Neither wants to try to push um, to make better war moves. Uh, so Kree has 39 science from uh, I'm guessing Pingala internals. Um, I can't quite see if it's level three yet, but considering Moksha hasn't even been established yet, my assumption is he went for. Uh, straight Pingala uh, internals, um, and they're sending a trade route for like two trade routes. It looks like already. Um, probably should get more up, but that's why they got to build more commercial hubs. Do they have a, They don't have a market yet in this commercial hub, um, so they really only have the two trade route capacity at the moment. Um, but looks like they're chopping to try to get more. Um, okay, task is actually hard building a knight here he must he must think that uh, uh, he's gonna have an advantage that way I mean task can has maybe check to see that Kree isn't making any gold per turn um, it doesn't have enough gold to upgrade units so um, you know if task can start okay he must have Kree must have just put in the, uh, the unit maintenance card they're now up to five Task has his first general out. Uh, Kree. Wow, Kree is just still, just seems to be okay. Um, making one general point per turn, while Task is making 4.6. Um, which implies that they actually switch to um, Oligarchy. Surprisingly. Um, I guess they really wanted the, the maintenance card and production card. Um... But they did get the Classical Republic uh, Legacy, I believe. More so okay, so he stopped building the, the knight, um, building some more settlers. Let's take a look at the eras. Task is nine, or ten points away from a Golden Age. He's got seven turns to do it. Um, Kree is four points away. Um, should, be, should be attainable. Um, let's see, another campus going down here. I'm trying to think of some easy ways. I mean, Cree could, could get a boat in this city. Um, are they going to get a religion? So the Cree should get a religion before, um, the next era, which should really secure that, that golden age for him. Um, Task has got a little bit of work cut out for him, although he's he's being completely uncontested on on writers, so he'll get at least another writer. He'll get at least another general. Um, he'll probably get a merchant. Um, I'd be curious. I mean, there's no real. Um, this trade route in the duel seems like it's less valuable because nobody's trading to you. I mean, I guess an extra trade route is always going to be beneficial, um, but it doesn't. It doesn't look like it's something that Task is going to uh, prioritize. He is getting this knight, which will be uh, an error score for using iron. Wow, bravo, already at 10 population. Um, let's see, if we look at this, Task has 7 total population more on, on 6 extra cities. Or 1 extra city, I should say, so far, but more settlers coming out. I don't see any coming out from Cree. Um, those commercial hubs are being placed down. 
Um, we got a campus right here. No. Okay, so they did get a market. I'm surprised to see another trade route not being built um, to, to, to go along with the Pingala internals. So Task actually just got... I wonder if Task Faith bought this merchant and then he also got the writer. So yeah, Task is now we'll cut that uh, what he needs to buy six. Cree actually got um, enough points that they need. I wonder if they did. Nope, he hasn't seized anything. Just a wave of settlers coming. This is this is impressive. Three settlers on the move. Four, uh, four over this way. Another general. Great work being completed. I I don't really see how Cree wins this. I mean, not like I I think Cree kind of lost on spawn. You know, you you give somebody this natural disaster which happened earlier than this one and in this one to go along with a, a pantheon that just works really well for them. Like Bull Moose is like Task is even playing somewhat of a of a non bonus sieve here because they're they they don't have this is the only appealing tile, uh, breathtaking appeal tile that they have in, in their land. Okay, campus being built from this city. So Cree is going all into campus and commercials. Magnus in the city doesn't have as many. Cho I know. I know they already had the chop here. Um, so a little bit. Uh, it's probably not going to get as much value as it could, but they, they can reach to these and, and chop from here with Magnus in that city. Okay, great profit. So Task has now eclipsed what he needs for Golden. Uh, Kree as well. So, I mean, Kree right now is, is in a, a normal age and probably going to go Pembrush and Voice. Um, to, to sort of match task and, and culture. Uh, I'd expect um, task to go into another monumentality, but maybe he feels like he already has enough settlers out. Um, already building armories. I mean, at a certain point, task is just going to start outproducing. I mean, he already is outproducing, like 32. Like, that's, that's his, like, fifth city um, that he put out there, and it, it has, like, double the amount of production that any of Kree's cities have. Um, more production than the cap. More city, 31. Okay, lost some production in that city, I'm not sure, not sure why. Uh, Charlie, 29. I mean, Task has more production in his core, like, in his, in his expand, his first three expands than Kree has on their entire empire. The front is still a bit of a cold war. Um, no general yet for Kree, so I'm I'm somewhat surprised. Except that you know Task doesn't have a lot of units um, that that are actually going to be affected by this general. That he's not trying to do something. <laughs> Intelligence agency coming out from from task 99 culture so the the arrows just switched over I'm guessing that jump is because he actually went Pembroke and voice and they did also from Cree No, oh, geez 42 seconds um, So I should just do uh, Where's trade um, man. Ay, ay, ay. I don't 
don't see him working in sense. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, okay, that seems like uh, I didn't have any impact on the Congress, for fortunately. Okay, so Task is bringing a knight up here. He's starting to push. Um, if we look... Yeah. He... It looks like Kree is getting some knight pre-builds, has some gold. I feel good yields though, Task is now kind of dominating on the, the science per turn. I'm curious how much longer Kree's actually going to stay in this game. Um, just seeing, you know, the sheer amount of stats that that uh, Task is I don't think Kree played this, like, super poorly. I mean, they have pretty decent science, pretty good culture. Um, I just don't know what you can do against this kind of god spawn. So this is where, I mean, like, y you should have had a general, because right now Task is getting plus five on all these frontline units, um, and, and you're, you're not. Okay, we got a crossbow up. I mean, these probably aren't going to be enough to push here, but he's doing a lot more damage than they, they should. Uh, wait, did Task... Task literally denied every... Yeah, he denied every general, because when he took this one, it was already the next era. I mean, it, it doesn't look like Kree is anywhere close at one great general point of turn and no projects compared to eight um, to getting a general. Let's see, so we have four traders out from Kree. Doing those Kree internals. Harbor from Delta, Harbor and Bravo. Let's see, so Bravo has that industrial zone on our 36, 33. Trebuchets. Oh, Temple of Artemis. Wow. I mean, it's not a, an amazing Temple of Artemis because he's only going to get the one amenity um, from it, but I mean, you can't, like, if he, especially if he is trying to go for maybe a culture victory. Um, he already has one um, of the ones that he needs. I'm curious, like this is the one that gives, like, allows tiles to be purchased in, for 30 gold. I mean, what's it doing on the front line? Is what I'm wondering. Task getting, like, I guess he. Ah, look at this. He's gonna settle this city, and then I'm assuming instantly buy this with the the merchant, and then probably. He's gonna push into this horse and try to get that tile too. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty genius. I just didn't I I, I thought the city's a bit bold. Oh, I wouldn't have probably placed it because because of that. Um, let's see what happens. Yep. So he, he he hit it twice. Okay. So he promoted. Let's let's just. Sit back and see what happens here. So he waited to settle the city. Um, maybe they ran out of time. I'm not sure. If I knew how to make a prediction, I'd uh, I'd put a prediction up for when Task makes his first uh, campus. I mean, he's already got 13 pop in the city, but he's building everything about a campus. Um, we got a an entertainment complex. I guess one, two, three, four, five. This would be a pretty good Colosseum. Um, so what? This was in Bravo. So my guess is we're going to see a Colosseum placed down here. Um, maybe he's thinking, yeah, oh, he could buy an arena. Okay, so the city didn't get settled again. He's got a spy here. 
Um, which I don't, I think just got established, although I guess it's been doing listening posts for three turns. Okay. Task is just eating away at Kree's position here. Okay. Buffalo with Victor. Yep, uses the Great Merchant to get this tile. I mean, Kree just like can't really doesn't have any time to breathe he, and sim up here. Like these units are are gonna overwhelm him if he doesn't make any more. I mean, if we take a look again here, Task has 10 cities compared to five from Kree and has 20 population more. Um, so that differential is just only increased. Still no Colosseum placed. Um. Okay. Kree got El Cid, although they didn't they didn't move them to the front line. I guess they can do it early next turn, but I wish wish they had enough time to do it last turn. Still hasn't been moved. Still hasn't been moved. Task got Tamur. Okay, there there we go. Did it before he attacked. Good job. Uh, and I guess before pillage could get could get pulled off. You know, I'm somewhat surprised the task went for intelligence agency. I mean, I, I'm sure they just wanted the early spy, but you know, what's their? I guess their faith is going to go towards religious units to try to convert them. Um, as maybe a primary way to uh, to win the game. Okay, we got mass upgrades here. Let's see, the, my guess is you should you should use this uh, merchant right now. I don't really see any downside. Musketmen and Delta. So Kree will get a free knight. Um, I don't see any way Task gets that, but he'll have to probably send the builder to go get it. And when he does that, he'll see a giddy hut here. So I guess we'll finally see what that one does. Task still has this Giddy Hut left unclaimed. Not a, not a total shocker. Uh, hanging Gardens being built in Charlie. Um, he's only at 30 tourism though, so it'll probably take a while for, for a culture victory. The guard um, was taken. I can go in, in this city. Uh, we never checked out Kree's religion. Uh, Zen meditation and itinerant preachers. Um, they do have moksha in the city, so it should eventually convert. Um, I guess this is going to convert next turn, which will then convert these even faster. Looks like it's going to convert Buffalo even faster than Task can convert it. So what do you guys in the in the chat think? When do, when do you think Task places his first campus down? Or does, does, I mean, my guess is that he never does because Kree will concede before he, he does. Um, that, that would be my guess. 
his task is, is just building literally every everything else, every wonder, except for um, a campus. He's really proving how you know maybe campuses early are, are just not that valuable. I mean, this isn't even early though. It's now turn seventy-three, and he doesn't have a campus. This thing is going to cause some havoc. So, I mean, this is just sitting here. I mean, Tass could actually go and grab it if he really wanted to. But my guess is he values the pillages more. Another merchant, 100 gold, one envoy. Oh, the trebuchet is on their way. Not even building walls, though. I mean, let's see, the production is probably I mean, 19. Probably could two turn walls with the card fairly easily. Um, if we look. They did get to monarchy. Task is obviously in monarchy already. Um, favor doesn't really matter, but it's strongly in Task's uh, favor. Yeah, Reg, that's that. That has got to be. I think that's that's a good call right there. When he takes that city, it'll be his first campus. Pillage, pillage. Pillage and get across the river. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, so that has a promotion so you can he can even pillage and then promote next turn if he's quick enough before Cree, uh, Cree kills it. And I mean, this is pretty devastating because uh, he has to, he can't build the intelligence agency anymore. So Task is just going to continue um, having a, a spy advantage in intel over Cree. Task finally placed down that Coliseum. Six turns till completion. Um, just curious, my guess is, I mean, it should make him at least happy since he's neutral at the moment. Okay, Cree, Cree got the first move on this, so no more pillaging. Uh, okay, ballistics in two though from Cree, so this is where the science is actually going to help him out quite a bit. If, if Task doesn't, um, I mean, I don't think Task will kill that many more units. Let's see how much Cree does have enough gold to get enough upgrades, I think, to make sure that there's no significant damage done on this push. Although Task is going to hit Nationalism next turn. Um, so, I mean, Core Knights versus Cursiers, not, not, that, not that much less. Um, task, uh, task going for ballistics means he also has um, uh, the tech for bombards. So maybe once the once the trebuchets get over here, he's gonna upgrade them to bombards. Okay, he, he actually has nationalism already. Wow. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see in two turns. These turn into cursors and likely. Uh, See, only three gold per turn though for Kree. So, as soon as he he upgrades, those will probably be the only upgrades he really he really gets. Task having basically three times as much culture. 
Um, that's really paying off in terms of already having nationalism. And Cree is going for exploration. I mean, maybe that's just for gold, gold thing, uh, trying to get more gold. Because he's definitely not doing it for boats, and monarchy is just better. So he's taking a detour from nationalism to go get it. Looks like we got some cheeky uh, horsemen uh, swimming their way over to Cree shores. I like that play a lot. Okay, so we got one field cannon upgraded. I don't know if Task can see that the field cannon's been upgraded. Doesn't have enough gold for any... Did he hard upgrade that? It's kind of what it would seem. You know, part of me wonders if Kree... Because they're getting extra food already from their trade routes if they would be better would have been better off with warlord's throne just for more gold you know and and because you can't really do much at five gold per turn like even though you have ballistics you're not able to take any advantage of it um he does have the chivalry card so he can build cursors um it just seems like you have, you have units that are on the field that would Love to be upgraded, I'm sure. Task bringing the bomb bird around. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Next turn, though, we'll see the first curse here on the field. Um, Task is only three turns away, and looks like they're saving up gold for this precise moment. Um, so we should be able to see Task get curse here cores, which I mean totally negates any benefit from these these curse here, and he'll have more of them, given that he can he can upgrade field cannon cores. Task at the military engineer getting that logistics. Cree doesn't need a military engineer. He's already got internal trade routes making roads to the to the front line. <laughs> so Cree brought this knight here, but Task actually just killed it with the horse. Oh, they even got a skirmisher making some noise. For those of you that have tuned in uh, kind of late, Task is doing pretty well here against Kree. Um, almost playing a, a zero bonus sieve um, in the sense that they don't have any breathtaking tiles except for this one. But if you look at their land, this, this flooded really early and they got Edamanaki. Look at this, seven food, four production. This popped off really early too, allow, uh, sealing his decision to go Earth Goddess. Task got first golden, or well, Kree missed first golden. Okay, he's got to send this cursor up here to deal with these horses instead of the front line. Um, Task must have just gotten um, cursors. But yeah, Task super high rolled in terms of, of natural disasters. I mean, a uh, three eight seven six, along with Earth Goddess or Fire Goddess, 
Yeah, look at these upgrades. Level 2 fuel cannon core. Ooh. This thing's gonna hurt. Cree went back to negative gold. Yeah, four XG. I I agree. I I don't. I don't know what Cree could possibly see here, that would make them think. I mean, Task is just like doing it. Like, Task is getting absolutely no pressure at all in their in their core cities and putting and he's applying just like tons of pressure over here on Cree. Oh. Um. No breach dam. Nobody's building a dam anytime soon. Um. No one's getting a nuclear power anytime soon. Um, although, uh, uh, I think that should be okay. Let's see. Uh, so called power plants got banned. Uh, Task got Diplo, Siphon Funds. Kind of interesting that Task chose to ban coal power plants because I don't think Free has any. Um, n no engineers, so power plants would have really only helped. Only helped him. Yep, GG's. Though its face may change throughout the ages. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching this amazing uh, game by Task. I mean, I, as I said earlier, I don't think Creep played well. I just don't know how you, um, how you, like, look at look at this high roll of a spawn. Look, look at, like. I don't think Cree has any tile that approaches what Task had like five tiles of. So like you guys tell me what what Cree could have possibly done here. Um, I mean like the only thing I could think of is maybe hitting first gold and, and uh, but uh, you know that's pretty hard in a duel um, as well as just m maybe being able to pry a little bit of pressure. But Task did a great job I think sending those three archers. Uh, very early on to the choke. Yeah, Task seems to even recognize that uh, he, he, he high rolled. But yeah, it was actually kind of funny. There was already a flood here, and Task sent his first settler here. And as he's settling the settlers, uh, there was another flood, and, and this settle got even better. <laughs> Same thing that happened with this one. He, he had a settler here, about to settle next turn here, and it had already exploded uh, twice, and then it exploded for a third time. Um... I mean, I like this shape for a dual map. Um, it's kind of interesting, but like Cree, like Cree had no volcanoes. Like you had a volcano here. I mean, but that's that's pretty much it. So like it was it was really in favor of Task here. Really in favor. But anyways, guys, I'm going to turn off the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, good luck to everyone in the CRL if you're playing. Have a good one.